Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah. If you've never seen other- And like clockwork, the dogs are playing. Hello, Junie. So today, I'm doing another Trizepatide update. Uh, this, these are videos that are really highly requested. Everybody has a lot of questions, comments, they want updates, whatever. So if you have not seen other videos of mine on semaglutide, trisepatide, whatever, I always leave a playlist, I always link it. So just for the sake of time, I've been on this stuff. This autumn will be two years and I think I was off it for about four months. So whatever the math is on that. I've talked about it at length before. I don't go into a ton of detail nowadays, but I will tell you if you haven't seen other videos, my my weight was hormonal. I thought I was perimenopause. It turns out it's complex PTSD. Love that for me. So that is a journey in and of itself. But for a little bit of a, like a pulse check on where we are now, today is June 21st. It is full moon. And I am actually, I think I'm a week overdue for a shot maybe more than that. I have just ordered another vial, so I'm gonna be delayed on it. I wanted to speak to that actually. I had ordered the amount that I was normally on and I had lost enough weight and had kind of dialed down my consumption rate of the actual like injection that I was obviously wasn't using as much as I had been using. I've said this so many times, but like I can feel it immediately. Like I immediately, I'm like, oh, the food noise is off. Like I could just focus on protein and fat, right? And with all my hormonal stuff, like I definitely crave carbs and I can, it's the first thing I can tell. Like, ooh, I could, I just eat stuff I don't normally want to eat. I didn't kick in. So I gave myself more and I looked at my prescription and I was like, oh my God, this expired. So I talked to my doctor and she's like, no, it's fine. Like, it's not like necessarily dangerous, but you are gonna notice it's not as strong. So I wanted specifically to call that out. I haven't really seen anybody else say that or having lost, successfully lost enough weight that like you're literally dosing down on it. And as a consequence, it, it reduces its strength. So I have another vial on its way to me. I think I'm maybe a week or so overdue for a shot, but I, I literally ordered less. So instead of two, I got one which is great because that stuff's not cheap. So I specifically wanted to call that out. Re-weight and all of that, I've gained, I think I'm up like a few pounds, but it comes and goes really, sorry, uh, really easily. Like once I, I've said this before, like once I get back on it, like it, this drops super quick. I think I've been this number or around this number now for three months, give or take. So I'm, I'm seeing my, this is, I think this is the longest I've, yeah, this is the longest I've gone in a range. I'm going to be on these shots for the foreseeable future just because of all the stress and all the trauma and all the grief that I'm experiencing. So like I need the help, but I also noticed that like, I have to be really clear with myself of like, what's what. And I have noticed an increase in like physical energy as far as exercise goes. So I've started doing crunches and I started doing like kind of lighter exercises. That doesn't sound like much, but I'm trying to do trauma release exercises. So like they kind of consciously tell you don't do like really aggressive anything. But I have noticed this week specifically, I'm like, okay, push ups and crunches and just like physical body weight stuff. I like that. And I'm starting to feel more settled into my current frame. So I have no idea if I'm gonna be any smaller than this. I will say as time passes and as I've settled in at this weight, I feel like I'm gonna get smaller. It's kind of funny how I had a number in my mind of like, oh, I wanna, I wanna average this number. Like I wanna be consistently clocking it around this number. That number is now when I feel a little too full. So I can tell like as time passes, I settle smaller which is kind of interesting. So I'm really curious. It just kind of keeps kicking out my timeline, but I am really curious what I actually wind up settling down at. I have no idea. I had a hunch it was gonna be this one number and now I'm like flying by it. I'm trying to make these update videos more often for you, especially because I feel like I get a lot of people just found me and I've been on this now for over a year and a half. So just in an effort to be more like on it with Q and A's, I'm, I'm gonna try to do these at least once a month. I did get questions about loose skin. Uh, do I have any? Yeah, I do. That's also why I'm really trying to do more body weight exercises. I'm not necessarily lifting a lot of weight or anything like that because Physically right now, that's not a good idea for me, but that's, that has nothing to do with the shots. It has everything to do with like trauma 
in the body. But I do think like I'm doing more push-ups, I'm doing crunches, I am trying to like tone and tighten the muscle more, like firm up my muscles more. And then I think that'll actually inhabit my skin better. But I definitely can tell you for me specifically, I mean, hell, I'm 75 to 80 pounds down and I can see it. My like upper, upper inner thighs, I'm starting to notice it for sure. I've got some on, I just have a little slack places, but I think part of it for me is I'm a little bit different in that like my stuff is so trauma related. I'm giving myself a lot of grace on that. And then I know, I know my body historically with exercise, I'm, I can muscle up pretty quickly. So I'm confident that once I'm physically in a place where I can, I'll tone up. Cause I like exercise. I don't like want to run, but I, I have no problem like doing daily stuff. I get that softness right in the shoulder area. Like I kind of round out here really easily. So just to kind of tone that up and kind of give me a bit more, um, like structure and firmness. I never want to look like jacked, but I, I just, I'm a soft looking woman. I'm never going to be like really ripped or anything, but it does kind of help firm it up a little bit more. And I feel from my frame, I, I'm pretty happy with that. So I have noticed an increase in desire to do more push-ups, and just to kind of keep it lifted, you know, like the bust and the upper chest and the upper abs and then crunches. I'm doing crunches every day. So push-ups and crunches every day currently in addition to like the trauma exercises. If you have any questions for me, obviously feel free to leave me a comment. I'll do my very best to respond to them quickly. Just keep it respectful. It's, all, it's always all I ask. I get a lot of positive feedback on these videos. So I wanna continue making them for y'all because I feel like it's really helpful. So feel free to let me know if there's anything specific you wanna see and I'll, do my best to get it out to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching y'all. I hope you have a great day and I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.